Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Alicia Darlene. I have a beautiful baby girl, my first time mom, and she is now eight months. So on this channel, I pretty much make a lot of videos for first time moms. I go over breastfeeding, I go over tips and tricks for moms, and I also go over how I was able to leave my job and just completely work from home. Because if you're anything like me, you don't want to leave your baby at the daycare and go back to work after just a couple of short months after having. Of course, that's completely okay if you do want to go back to work. That just wasn't for me. I wanted to be able to stay home and also just make that passive um, income. So if that's what you're interested in, I will leave um, the the link in the description below that'll be the first one there so you can click on that for more info but anyways this video will be about choosing the correct size for your baby the diaper size and when to also go up so if this video is beneficial for you please like and subscribe to my channel okay so let's get into it so there's a lot of different brands and types of diapers out there but picking the right one is um, extremely important just to keep your baby comfortable and to prevent leaks so most kids begin potty training by the age of two is what they say we're not at two yet but um, we've been using a ton of diapers obviously so so it's really important to understand when to move up in diapers when the baby is um, starting to outgrow the one that they're in right now. So there are several ways to determine when the diaper is too small and when you should move up. So I'm gonna go over the top five. Okay, so number one is know your baby's weight. So most diaper manufacturers will let you know what diaper is in the correct weight. It'll say kind of on the box. So stage one is from this weight and this weight. Stage two is this weight and this weight. So it's really important that you know your baby's weight so you can kind of base it off the box weight that it's made for. So your doctor can let you know the baby's weight every time they have checkups. But I know sometimes there are like large gaps in between your next doctor's appointment. Like we had one obviously like at her six months appointment and we haven't had one for like two and a half months so I'm not really too sure what weight she's at right now so if you don't just have a doctor's appointment that was pretty recently I know that can be kind of like a guessing game so another way to figure out your baby's weight without doctor's appointments you can purchase a baby scale if that's something that you want to do if you want to save a little bit of money you can also do this instead where you have your own weight you weigh yourself and then you get on with the baby and then weigh yourself and just subtract it and it can kind of give you like a rough estimate of how much your baby weighs so then you can kind of see uh the size that she's meant he or she is meant to be in. okay so that's number one pretty much just base it off the manufacturer's recommended weight against your baby okay so number two is check the fit of the diaper so if the diaper fits like a bikini or it pulls on one side it's most likely that it's too small time to move up in size the diaper should be straight and symmetrical the waistband should fall right at the waist not too high or too low in the front or in the back because you definitely don't want it in the back because that's how you get blowouts okay so number three is inspect your baby's waist and leg so you can look for signs that the diaper is too tight by seen any red marks on the legs or the waist or any rashes where the diaper is just too tight against the skin even if your baby is the correct weight with that diaper and you still are seeing those red lines it um is a good chance that that's still too tight even if it goes against the weight so if it's irritating your baby time to move up inside okay so number four is when you put on a clean diaper these flaps that are on the front go around the waist without having to pull on it this way or even with these they shouldn't be meant to stretch out and completely go across it should just be comfortably around and then this velcro will just go over it also when you're using a clean diaper when you're putting the clean diaper on um, I like to go over the belly button just a little bit here and then when it's wet it'll be a little bit under the belly button and that's also a good indication that you're using the correct size of diaper okay number five is to pay attention to how the diaper is working if you notice that your baby is leaking through the diaper onto the clothes probably too small so you'll definitely need to go up in size you can expect occasional leaks and occasional a uh, blowout stuff like that but if it's something that's frequently happening then you probably have too small of a diaper size but just remember that you can get leaks also if the diaper is too big so you just want to make sure that it looks comfortable on them you're not getting any signs of irritation and the weight is a good guideline to kind of help you estimate what size the diaper um, fits them correctly if this video was beneficial for you please leave me a comment in the comment section just let me know that it helped you out also like and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you guys next week
Okay, so this is how the baby looks um, after she has wet her diaper. So, there, yeah, look right here. Okay, so see how it's right below her belly button because it's wet. So usually right when I put it on her and it's dry, it's going to be a little bit over her belly button. So that's when you know that it's perfect. It's not too snug, so this goes all the way around here. And then the Velcro just kind of goes over it. We're not completely like pulling it to make it fit. It's nice and comfortable. Of course, <laughs> we have to change her diaper. I just wanted to show what it looked like um, wet. But, you know, here we don't see any lines of irritation. Nothing like that. No rashes. So we know that this is a perfect fit for her and this goes with her weight and everything like that so i just wanted to show that real quick